Photopea. It is basically like an online version of Photoshop. Um, it has many of the same tools. It looks similar. I'm sure some things will work a little bit differently and it probably won't be quite as powerful as Photoshop, but it's at least something where we can kind of be able to design and build things as we're um, at home. So when you go to this website, you're presented with like kind of this screen here. For today, all I want to do is just make something really, really simple just to see if uh, we're able to figure this out on our computers at home and kind of just add some little basic elements to this thing just to kind of put some things in that might give you a little bit of trouble to see if you can kind of figure out how to navigate that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press a new project. And again, some of you might be on a Mac, some of you might be on a PC, some of you might be on a Chromebook. For the most part, things are going to work the same. I'll try to point out the differences where I know they're going to be. And then if you're having any trouble and you can't figure something out, feel free to email me. Feel free to contact me through Remind. I have that set up now. So, um, you know, I'll make you videos. I'll email you back. I'll do anything I can to kind of help you with this. So for this little sample project that we're going to do here, it should only take us, you know, five minutes maybe to make this thing. I just picked um, Instagram for this thing. I figured you guys are on Instagram anyway. You might end up turning this into something you want to throw up on your Instagram. So, um, you know, that's why I picked that size. So anyway, that's underneath social. So uh, once again, this screen looks a lot like Photoshop. I picked this Instagram 1080 by 1081. Um, I called it Hello. The name I don't think is going to matter. I, I think it'll be like in school where I won't really see the name of your file when you go to turn it in. So the rest of this I pretty much just left alone and I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. First thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and put a picture in here. Obviously, if we do any work on this program in Photoshop or uh, you know in graphic design here and kind of make like Photoshop type things, we're going to have to be able to put pictures in. Again, on each computer, this is going to be a little bit different. But my recommendation would be go over to Google, find any kind of picture you like here, just something school appropriate, and make sure you click on it to see like the bigger version of the picture here. So here's the one that I want to do for today. We're not concerned about like pixel size or anything. I just want to get something up here. And then the best way to save it at home is going to be to right click and go save image as or whatever save kind of choice you have there. If you're on a Chromebook, it's going to put it into your downloads folder. If you're on a PC or a Mac, you'll probably have the choice of where to save it. I would recommend in those cases maybe the desktop so it's easy for you guys to find it. So I've already saved this image onto my desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to this Photopea. And normally in school what we would do is we'd drag it from our desktop onto this. I don't want to go that route simply because that might not work on a Chromebook or a PC. So I just want to show you a way to do this that will work across all kind of devices. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Open and Place. Now from here you'll have to navigate to wherever you saved your picture. Uh, if it was the desktop, you know, certainly it would be there. If you're on a Chromebook or if you're not sure where you put it, it might be in your downloads folder. So on your computer, you're going to have to figure out how to get to that picture. You're going to have to figure out where is your downloads folder, where is your desktop, you know, where are these things. You're going to have to kind of figure them out. So for my picture, let's see if I can find it here. Here you go. Here's the picture that I saved. I'm going to go ahead and open up that picture. Just like Photoshop, it automatically gives us this little transform control in the beginning. The only difference now is if you want to adjust the size of yours, you're going to need to hold shift if you want to keep it in proportion. So again, this goes back more to like the way Illustrator was. When you're done transforming it, just press enter or return on your keyboard and that will finalize that transformation. So I'm going to take my move tool here and just kind of move this kind of wherever I want this thing to live for now. Once again, you see you have a layers window here. You know, it just feels just like it did in Photoshop. So that's one of the two things I want to do. The other thing I would like you to do is take the text tool click where you want to type and just write your name on here. After you do that, I'm going to switch to this move tool. You know, I can move this layer around again, depending on which layer I have selected. That's the layer I'll move just like we've always done in Photoshop. And if I want to change the font and those kind of things, I'm going to go back to the text tool here. Now, if I don't see that cursor blinking up and down, I can just kind of change these things now. If it is blinking, I would have to highlight my text. So I'm just going to go in here and pick something I like. Um, this destroy one looks pretty cool. And then to change the color, I click right here. And if I want to eye drop a color from here, I can do that. As long as I move outside this window here, you see it's just kind of automatically updating. I'm going to hit OK once I pick my color. I'm going to move this thing. So I'm going to go back to the move tool here and move that. And that size is already pretty good. If it wasn't, again, I can go here. 
because I don't see the blinking cursor, I can just change it and I can type numbers in here or I can use this drop down just as always. Now that we're done, what I'd like to do is I want to kind of save this thing so that I can turn it in. Because this project's so short, we didn't have to save the Photoshop version of it. We're just going to export it like we would when we normally go to turn it in, like a picture copy of this thing. So let's look at kind of two things here. Here's how you would save it. So if you wanted to keep working on something, you would go to save as PSD. Where you're going to put that, again, if you're on a Mac or a PC, I would probably put it on the desktop. If you're on a Chromebook, I think your only choice is going to be to put it in the Downloads folder. And then as long as you give it a good name, you should be able to find it in that Downloads folder on your Chromebook. But what we're going to do, since we're ready to turn this thing in, is Export As. And we'll just pick this top option here, PNG. It brings up this screen here, gives us some choices. Again, for this little thing, we don't really need to mess with any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and save. And you see it automatically put it in my Downloads folder. I know that because that's kind of where Chrome puts things when they're downloaded and you'll have to find that thing on your computer wherever it's at. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder on your computer and that's what you're going to turn into me then in Google Classroom. So if I open this thing up you can see there's my project there. So that's all I'm asking you to do right now is just the text, the picture, and really your biggest challenges are going to be where or how do I save pictures onto my computer and um, find them then when I want to go put them on my project and then same deal when you're done a project, how do I save that project so that I can turn it in in Google Classroom. So again, if you have any questions, feel free, reach out to me on um, the email, reach out to me through Remind, and I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. And like I said, if I need to, I'll make additional videos, I'll email you back, I'll do whatever I can to help you guys with this. But that's our goal, is just kind of get our feet wet in this thing and see if this is gonna be a viable option for the future.